Welcome back. This is Dan Mink, the Rhinestone Roper. Today we're going to be working on teaching your horse to lay down. Now first you need to know how to teach your horse to bow, and you should have done that already with your horse. If you haven't, go back and look at that video. Spend a couple weeks getting your horse to bow without putting a rope on their foot, just with their cue. Once they know how to bow, they're all set to start laying down. On your first day of laying down, you need uh, a side pull mechanism on their on their face, either a snaffle bit or a, uh, a side pull rope halter like this one. You might you might also try it with your regular halter, just snap your reins onto the uh, reins on the side. That might work also. Uh, you probably need a saddle and take your stirrups off. You're going to lay your horse down. If they lay down on those big stirrups. That will be uncomfortable. We want to make sure everything they do is, is comfort for them so they don't dread doing it again. So uh, put your saddle on, take your stirrups off, and of course, you need your foot rope again. We've been working on bowing uh, without your foot rope. Now we'll go back to using that foot rope. One more piece of equipment that is advisable is some vent wrap. Or at least something to wrap on your horse's knee. For this first time of laying down, if you wrap lightly, something around their knee, not so tight so they can't bend it, but they're going to be putting that knee on the ground and then scooting around. They'll resist losing their balance the first time. But if their weight is on this knee and they're dragging it across the ground, it doesn't take long before they disrupt that hair and skin their knee. And that's a minor injury. It heals up no problem. But once you get going on this routine, you're going to want to repeat it every day or two. It's a bad feeling to know that you helped your horse uh, skin its knee, and then you went out there a day or two later and reopened the wound. So if you wrap that, especially on that first day, they can drag that stuff around a little bit, and that hurt it, and uh, get them laid down. And after that, they don't move around so much, so you don't have to worry about it. The question is, which side do you want to lay your horse down on? If you watch your horse when he's laying down, or watch him lay down, or when he's already laying down in the sun, he has one side he likes to lay down on. So you might use that side. It'll be easier to teach him to lay down if he already knows how to lay down on the side you're going to lay him down. The other consideration is uh, your horse's mane. If you spend time combing your horse's mane out, make it nice and pretty for people to, to, to appreciate, uh, then you probably don't want to lay them down on their mane. Uh, Ginger's mane is on her uh, left side, so I lay her down on the right. And it's that right foot we're going to deal with. So first thing we're going to do is we'll put our, uh, put our foot rope on her right foot. First time, it probably doesn't make any difference which side you bring that rope up. But, but if you uh, bring the rope up on the right side and dally it on your saddle horn, when you lay her down on the right side, she may be laying on the rope. And when she's laying down, you want to pull that rope out and get that rope off her foot. That may be the easiest way to do it the first time. After you've done it a little bit, I like to bring it up on the left side, flop it over to the right. That way, when she lays down on her right side, this rope is on top. I can uh, get slack in the rope and take the rope off her foot, and then we don't have to worry about that. What we're going to do is we're going to give her the cue to bow. And she'll come down and bow, and then when she's bowed, we'll take that rope and dally it on the saddle horn, or we'll just, we'll just hold on to it. So she'll be down on her right knee, we're gonna have her reins here holding her. We're gonna take that left rein and pull her, pull her, uh, her chin up, up to the left, or back to the left, whichever you prefer. But well, she'll be down on this knee, you pull her this way, and she'll, she'll fall to the right. This can be a dangerous trick to start with. Your horse undoubtedly knows how to lay down. Once they're on the ground, they can be pretty readily convinced that everything is okay. But they're not used to laying down on command and they're not used to laying down when you're standing there probably 
If you're lucky, you can watch up to your horse when they're laying down, they don't jump up. But most time they jump up. They, they're not sure if they're, they're safe or not. So what we have to do is you have to convince this horse that once they lay down, they're very safe. We're gonna clean everything out of the arena or your practice area, especially for the first through about the fourth time you do it. Get everything out of the way. Don't wear your cowboy boots and your spurs. Wear your tennis shoes. You have to be pretty nimble. When this horse is down on one knee and you won't let him up, you got this leg confined, you're trying to get him to lose their balance. They don't want to lose their balance. You have to convince them it's all right to do that. They're going to be bouncing around, swinging that rear end around, or hopping with their front end. If they're doing that, and you feel that everything is still under control, you can stay with them. You can stay with them. You just got to get out of the way of that rear end. You don't want them stepping on your foot, knocking you down, and then stomping on you with those hind feet. If you've already been through the bowing process, your horse won't be swinging that leg. Swinging that leg is a problem. Especially if you have the rope up on the, on the far side of the horse from the foot that's tied, they'll just pull on this foot into that leg and cut the heck out of that leg if they're swinging her foot. But if they're just rearing up and bouncing around, bouncing around the uh, arena, that's not, uh, that's not all that bad. You know, they won't hurt, they'll wear themselves out. If they wear themselves out, that's good. They'll be happy once they get to lay down and rest. If they're bouncing around too much, if they're hopping with that, that front leg, covering some ground, then you kind of got to get out of the way. You might hold on to one long rein to keep them in a circle, keep them away from the, the fence. If you really want this horse to lay down, and if they're really throwing a fit about it, then you do everything we talked about, only put lunch lines on them. So you can you stand away back here, stand back away from that horse, still be pulling that horse's head around to get them to lay down on that foot, because that foot will be tied up to the saddle horn. But hopefully, the horse won't cover much ground. If you've done a lot of bowing, then they know they don't have to be too afraid. Once we get the horse down on the ground, that's really the reason you got these long reins. You're going to use long reins for this trick. Because the horse is laying on the ground, you can drape that, that top rein down the length of that horse. And you stay down on the ground with them, pet them, give them a treat while they're down there. Make sure you know they're doing the right thing and they're perfectly safe. Nothing's going to happen to them. You got all the dogs out, you got your dog tied up, nothing can come up to them. The other horses can't get to them. It's important they stay down on the ground a long time that first time. Don't let them get up if you can help them. If they do get up, go right back to laying down would be my suggestion. You want them to stay on the ground, be nice and calm, and then uh, I'd roll them up the first time. Roll them up and stop them. Bring that head around so they got to stop right there in that rolled up position. Give them a treat. Rub the outside of their neck and then to grab both reins, step back, laying back down. Always take your horse to the same spot to have them lay down, facing the same direction. This is Ginger's spot, but she faces that way to lay down. Because of the lighting, I've got to turn the opposite way. It may be better for teaching purposes because she won't be so, so anxious to lay down. We've got a long range on her. We'll pretend we got the saddle on her with the stirrups off. we got the rope on her right foot, coming up on the left side, coming over here to me on the right. So you already know what we're doing. I'm gonna give her the key right here to bow. And you might have had to make your bowing cue down here a ways, but you wanna transfer it up here because that's where your spur is going to be where you're sitting on this horse, giving it the, the cue to lay down. That's the goal is to have your horse lay down with you on her, on her back. We'll have her bow, down in this rope on the saddle horn, and then go back to my reins. And I'm going to uh, pull mainly on her left rein to bring her head around to the left a little bit so she can lay down to the right. Okay, let's take a bow. Take a bow. And we're going to pull on this 
this wing over here, bring your head around. There you go, can you lay down for us? Bring your head around, let's go. All right. As you saw, she covered a little bit of ground to lay down because she was uncertain about her position. I've got her left rein here. In case she tries to get up, I can pull, pull that nose up in the air and stop her. This rope is on top of her, so it's we can toss that out of the way. Her leg is free now. We're going to spend quite a bit of time with them right down here. If this horse goes to get up, she's going to roll that direction and get up. So you're out of uh, out of the danger zone if there is one for this trip. <clears throat> Long you're back here, you're just fine. You need to give your horse a treat. You're doing a good job. That a girl. Yeah, everything is nice and calm. Touching her all over. First time down on the ground, you probably want to stay back here. Well, make sure that she knows that she's safe. Nothing can come in here and harm her. If you lay them down in the same spot every time, they don't have to check that piece of ground out. Make sure that there's nothing, nothing wrong with it. They know that it's okay because they did it the last 20 times you laid them down. After you've done a little bit, you can sit on them, rub them all over. What I ask this horse to do is lay still as I walk in a circle around her. I keep a hold of this rein, just in case she tries to get up, I can try to prevent it. Oh. Of course, I won't need it for this horse. She does this all the time. That's a good girl. After they have a little practice, sit on here. Actually, this spot right, right here is not dangerous. As long as you don't get this leg too close to theirs, they might hook your leg and, and stretch you out a little bit. I've had horses hook my spurs and stretch, stretch me out on their back. As long as you stay close to these front feet, there's no problem. I want them to feel comfortable with you touching everything. Relaxing those joints. That's a girl. That's a girl. I'm gonna rock this horse up and bring her head around to the left immediately and give her a treat there. I want her to know there's a stopping point in that roll up position. She needs to look for a cue of what to do once she's in that spot. So we're gonna, okay, sit on up, come get a treat. Here we go. There you go. Have a girl. Rub that, that muscle that's stretched. Give her a treat right here. That is such a good girl. Just bring back. Such a good girl. And I'm just gonna step back with both reins, lay her back down. Got a girl. You might add more tricks to this basic one here, so you want them to roll up and then look for a cue. They need to know that's a place where you might want them to stop. You might want to teach him to sit up. You might want to stop him right there, toss a leg over him, and then have him get up with you on their back. That's, people like that trick. Now when this horse is rolling a little bit, if he wants to roll over towards you, you can kind of help prevent that by bracing it with your leg. But brace it in the middle of her back, in that hollow spot. If you brace it up next to her withers, they can roll up on your instep and I think they can break your foot with their withers. The withers are, will be pointed in the ground on your foot, that's no good. But in this hollow spot, they can roll a little bit and, and you won't be injured. Take this rope completely off her foot. There we go. Good girl. Fat girl. Okay, let's sit up. Now her routine is sitting before it gets up, so well, we won't change that, but sit up. Sit up. Hup, hup. All right there. We don't want her to change her routine, so we're going to keep doing it here. You know, the 
first time is a struggle. Second time is usually pretty easy. The third or fourth time, they'll have time to think about this trick and they'll think, you know, I know I did it, but I don't think it's a good idea. So the third or fourth time, you might have trouble. You might have to go back to dancing with them. But after just a, a few days of doing it, you won't need the rope on your foot. And if you put it on there, you just hold it with your hand, just as a reminder. But you come over here, give the cue, be here with your, with your, with your reins, and they'll lay down for you. All right, so that's how to lay your horse down while you're standing on the ground. Our next, uh, our next video will uh, uh, transfer that cue to your spur. I'm going to show how to lay your horse down safely while you're on his back. Enjoy your horse. Have a good time. And as usual, press like and share and subscribe. We'll see you next week with another video.